don't know if anybody's gonna come and listen to this with me but um if not i'm just gonna leave it up this is more of the audio it's a four hour oh gosh it's a four hour audio i play some of it in my last live i played the most saucy nasty disturbing moments when she makes fun of him and she says you're a joke in the industry you're not the god of cinema she makes fun of she makes fun of him i played that one a couple of days ago um but i'm just gonna keep going i have to edit a bunch of white noise and by that i mean a lot of um just uh, punches not in a physical way but like it seemed like like this so like they were walking with the phone on i don't know i had to cut all that shit off because it was pissing me off but even though i did all that it's still so long so i'm just gonna make like a 10 minute video of it if nobody shows up then um because i cut it off i'm gonna make another one later i want to go to live um to see less in about an hour so i'm not gonna be here because i want to go watch her but um <clears throat> she's one of the people that posted this she posted it three days ago i started playing it about two days ago i was gonna come yesterday but we had a bit of an uh, emergency extreme weather condition here and it was really bad um really bad sirens going tornado earthquake warning so i had to get on my closet yes it's a closet <laughs> i stay there for about like 30 minutes, um, go work. See, I didn't, I couldn't go, couldn't go. And uh, I just kind of like went to sleep because I was like just scared. I don't know how I went to sleep because like literally the thunderstorm was gonna last all night, but I waited until it was gone and then I went to sleep. So um, that's why I wasn't here yesterday, but I'm here now and I have some time. I'm not gonna take too long because at five I have something to do. But uh, okay, this is one of the audio that it was that is new. That it is brand new. Don't tell me it's not, because I know it is. But the thing is, it's so damn long, and it's gonna sound like it's not new, or it's gonna sound repetitive because she repeats herself and dwells. We know what she does. She does what he said in court that she does. She pretends she's leaving, then she comes them back. Then she say, I don't want to be with you anymore. On this audio, she throws away her wedding ring. Or she says she's going to throw it away, and he gets upset. By upset, I mean more quiet, which is probably he's sad about it. He talks the same way he talks in court. You don't hear him losing it. Not once that I remember. And this is a four-hour audio that I cut in pieces, and this is going to be like the first 10 minutes of it. Uh, this is part of the chunk that I think they're going to use in court starting probably this week, which starts tomorrow. That's what I want to do this and kind of like catch up um, so we can start the week in a good, fun note. As we end the week with, you know, that sad, that sad audio of Johnny talking about cutting himself, asking her to cut him. And um, since then, since I, since I heard that and I saw that, I'm just like in a plan to just make fun of her as much as I can. And um, she, you don't even have to, because she just like wrecks herself. Okay, so in the beginning of this audio, she says, I forgive you. I don't have to forgive you, but I forgive you. So listen to it, let's listen to it. And it's again, it's four hours, but I'm just gonna do like 10 minutes at a time. And um, half react to it, half not, because I listened to some of it. I'm not gonna say I don't know it, but it came out a few days ago. I don't know how this is going to be used in her defense. I think it's just going to be used in his. If it's used in hers, maybe to show that she was really trying, because this is this is recorded by her, and he knows it's been recorded. And this is one of the ones that I think the marriage counselor said, you guys can record yourselves um, and then bring it back to me. We'll talk about it, you know, which in a case like this two, I think is a good idea. Cause especially with her, because she contradicts herself all the time. She knows she's been recorded, that's so why she's trying to be nice. That's all I gotta say. And she tries to say things like, I forgive you for what you did. And Johnny's like, oh, like, so let's listen. And I have it on a microphone, not on me, but on, on the audio. So I hope that it's loud enough. You forgive me or, or not. And I gotta forgive you if I wanna be with you. I've got to forgive you. I gotta forgive you if I wanna be with you. Yes. It's not solo. I'm just saying what I. 
I made a choice to let it go, to forgive you, and I meant it. And I'm sorry that it's coming up now. It really should not come up. It really should not be something that we keep you from being fight. It doesn't help us. It doesn't help our standing to point out how fuck. <coughs> it doesn't do anything but cause the other one to retreat and defend. So I'm sorry. You listen to your tape back. It'd be you that brings up this wrong person. You're right. I brought it up and I'm sorry. That's so she's saying, I'm sorry. She's saying, you're right. She's saying, I'm sorry. You're right. This is what a narcissistic person does. You know, she's trying to make it, she's trying to make him think that he has it, that he has control over it, but he has no control over what's going on. She does. Um, but this is what she's doing right now. That's what she's kissing her ass, his ass. And it's not that hard to understand, right? So that's what she's saying. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. You're right. Because she's like, you know, she's trying to make him at ease. I believe in this video, she already gave him a Xanax. She's about to give him another Xanax in a few minutes. So besides she was, he was prescribed Xanax for his anxiety, which I think that he has. The fact that she was giving them to him, he sounds perfectly fine to take the Xanax himself. So I don't know why she's giving it to him. So maybe this is maybe a technicality. There's some stuff that we don't know about from Dr. Kipper. But Dr. Kipper said that he was prescribed Xanax. But you can tell that she's taking them too. Anyway, I think that the fact, I think, that the, I think she gave him Xanax not to actually help him out. There's nothing wrong with taking Xanax. Nothing wrong with taking Xanax. People need to stop that fucking big stigma. There's nothing wrong with taking your meds. But I think she was giving it to him just to calm him down to, you know, uh, have been very, very submissive and very calm and kind of going, yes, yes, for the argument that is going to come sooner or later because she's not going to be able to help herself. So she took the Xanax or not, I don't care. I know that she's giving it to him and on the audio, he's calm, but I don't think he's calm because of the Xanax because this sounds the same way that he sounds in court. So again, she's placating him. She's saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I forgive you too. It's just a tactic. Maybe because she knows that she's going to show this to the therapist. So she's not going to sound like a bitch. But trust me, it doesn't taste, it doesn't, she loses eventually. But I'm just going to play them inside of time because then it's going to be all like, ooh. I don't know if my connection keeps going in and out. Mm, maybe that's what's happening. I should just make a regular video. I just like to go live and be able to hang out and just like chat like we did last time. There was so much fun, but maybe the connection might be going in and out. So I will leave this up later. Um, if you can, you know, just watch it anyway. Leave your comments and maybe when I'm at work Wednesday, um, I have a really good connection over there. I can just put on my computer and do a, a good video that we're not going to just go up and down with a connection. It's not going to get glitchy, but I will do that on Wednesday. And by Wednesday, we'll have to have, we're going to have some idea what the fuck is going on in court. Now I just want to do like a, a recap of um, kind of refresh my, my own memory also of this, the, the insanity that is this audio. So I'm going to keep playing it. Expect a lot of, I'm sorry, expect a lot of submissive. She's playing it um, as we know, because she's an actress. She's not a good one. But she she tries, um, so I'm gonna start interrupting. Drink my tea. That's why I'm saying this. I was trying to defend myself from this whole thing about like me taking your time and oh, you're rehearsing, and I took no time and suffered by myself and really sat on that and suffer didn't... by myself. Or was it right? You asked me every morning what the fuck is going on, and I wasn't right. It wasn't okay. It was not okay. And we talked about it on Whitney's birthday that night. Wait, what? And he promised never to go there again. What? I'm not sure. Are you okay now? I mean, so far. Is that wrong? Um, not yet, as far as Whitney's party. And I promise never to go there again and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, so I... Time it's just, but no, it you matter. see it differently. I feel like I took five minutes of your time and you felt like I took three minutes and I... It, it's probably somewhere in between, to be honest. Okay, so we're really obsessing over it. It's pointless. It's fighting for nothing. Is it? You've got to be able to... 
got to be able to hear what I need. And when, when she I sounds so wrong, rational, huh? It cannot huh? be impossible ever to say to you, you've got to be responsible. I hold you responsible. Well, I know no one else wrong does. That affects you in the wrong way. But we have to live together. Yes. Everyone else gets to go home. As you said, we go Pardon me. It's practically the first time you said we We have to live together. And I have said we a lot. By the way, I just want to say. We have to live together, and we both have corks, corners. Maybe you remember me saying this earlier. We both have shit that we need to. puzzle pieces that we need to curve out to make. Other, you know, she's saying we, 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 because we, we know what she's doing. Why well, she's using the we instead of I or instead of you. Which is what she does when she's not, when she's drunk or doesn't know she's been recorded or she's just drunk. Now that she knows she's been recorded by herself, she's like we, we, and she's trying to be like super calm. I wish this is just the truth uh, and just the way she is, but it's not. It's just sad. It's exhausting. I listen to this for four hours, but so I try to, um, I remove all the white noise and all the, she says, I'm sorry every two fucking minutes. And in the next video I'm going to play, he says to her, you say, I'm sorry too much. She just loses power. You use the word, sorry, way too much. And then she gets mad. She's, she's like, so what do you mean? I can't say I'm sorry to you anymore. So that's after. And on this one, they're like both very calm. He, he, she gave him a Xanax allegedly. It's very easy to do that to people. Um, just like here, here's a pill, calm down. But also what you want to do is not, what she's trying to do is not to calm them down, which is if I do that, it will be, hey, let's take a Xanax, you know, we're just, just let's sit down. I mean, this is out of control. But on her case, it's, you know, so he will not talk back pretty much. And he's going to say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, because this is what narcissistic people do. They want to make, they want to make you believe that they are mid to their faults. So you, you admit to, to yours, but then they take it back saying it wasn't my fault. But you're like, well, girl, you admit to it 20 minutes ago. So that's, it's, it's such an old trick. Like she's not even being really refined about it anymore. I don't know, I'm keep going. I like this While I eat. Sometimes, really Sometimes <clears throat> I think you're hurt and don't know what to do with it. You don't have an outlet for it. You're still holding on to it and not admitting we're holding on to it. You still kind of hate the other one for the things they've said to you. You know, it's just. And we don't let it go. And then it comes up, a fight comes up, instigated by the same patterns, you know? Me getting mad at you about something and you getting mad at me about something. And then all the shit comes up from all the fights. Why, why can't we just, like, like, be humble enough to say, oh shit, I'm sorry, when we fuck up? Why is it like this? When you I fuck up. That question. I mean, I, I, I'd love to be, if I'm not being that, I, I would love to be. takes humility and I know I'm the only she's being so unrealistic I don't know anybody maybe because at the moment she was like 27 or 28 I don't know anybody that can deal with this and just she's being so like it's so unrealistic I don't know if it's I don't know when she's gonna find somebody who's gonna live up to the standards um that she's <laughs> trying to hold them up to because it's impossible she said well I say I'm sorry if I'm not mad right she wants him to say, I'm sorry, no matter what, even if it's fake. Just listen to it. It's so sick. Like, I hate people that do that. Say, I'm sorry to me, even if you don't mean to, because it makes me happy. Well, that's some bullshit. That's bullshit. Then you don't want, you want a puppet. You don't want a husband or a wife. If you want to hear, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, so you can get, you can take an ambient and go to sleep and be in a better mood. Then what's it really about? It's not about the fight or if the other person says, I'm sorry or not. It's about you going to sleep better at night because he said I'm sorry to you even if he didn't mean it because you're so fucked up on the head that you're asking a person to say I'm sorry when they don't mean it just so you can feel better the mental gymnastics that she's doing to get to that are insane like the <clears throat> she needs to be studied I don't want to call her insane or crazy but she needs to be studied 
Like she's going to be in the history books as like this person that invented a new diagnosis. Then I don't know, it's a mix between narcissism and borderline and, and psychopathy and antisocial and histrionic. And it's a claustrophobic of diagnosis. I'm not even saying what she is. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't even think there's a diagnosis that I can just put on her. No, but nobody knows at the moment. We're like all throwing things out there. But I can hear it's just a pathological liar. It's somebody who's manipulating you enough. So you say sorry about something that you didn't mean to say sorry. So she can feel better. And then she says, I forgive you too. So, and she knows she's recording it. That's why she's, she's trying to sound calm. Hey, what's up? Somebody's watching. Hello. I'm going to be here for about an hour and then I'm going to leave because I want to go watch another live that a friend is doing. Yesterday I couldn't get here because we're having a bit of a weather extreme warning emergency and it wasn't safe. <laughs> so I had to stay in a closet for like 30 minutes. That's what you get when you live here. All right, I'm just going to keep playing it. She's exhausting. It took me like, it took me half of the night to just actually cut this in pieces. It was four hours long. Only person that I to accountable with me in life and, you know, over So I wouldn't be, so I wouldn't be, so I'd fall asleep before I'd be touched by you and have to fucking confront it. I tried to, you know, read and calm down. I tried to not talk about it because I just could not imagine mm. it working. Or you could just hear it and say, I'm sorry. And also know that that's okay, an did, issue. Did you hear what she said? I take an amir, I take something so I can fall asleep fast enough so I'm I don't get touched by you. She said she says like she's doing him a favor. <laughs> it's so insulting, but it's a favor. I do this so we don't fight. So I don't get touched by you. So then if I get if you get that if I get touched by you, then we're gonna fight. So I gotta take an amir and go to sleep. No, you took us maybe go to sleep because you fucking feel like it. Like it's just Put it on somebody that you do. Oh, anyway, I, I you knew I was going to interrupt that part because it fucking gets on my fucking nerves. It's hard like to not point things at her because she's so incredibly. Now we know she's obvious, but when this was happening, it, it, put yourself in his shoes. He didn't see what we're seeing now, and he didn't see what he's seeing now. <clears throat> when I said well, my voice, he didn't see it. She just it is very refined abuse. She doesn't even have to scream. She doesn't even have to throw punches on this. But she's telling him, I have to get something to go to sleep because I want to go to sleep before you touch me. That's nice for your wife to say that to you. It's nice, right? Yeah. I couldn't imagine it. <laughs> <laughs> so it came out really bad. It came out poorly. I handled it poorly. By the time we talked, I was already seating. And then I reacted like a person that has been hurt over many, many fights and holding on to probably some things without knowing it. And I reacted because I thought, fuck it. I don't want to try to know. I don't want to be the person that sits there and says, I love you while someone's looking at you in the eye and telling you that no one likes you and that they don't like you anymore and they don't love you and you're ugly and all this shit. I don't want to, I didn't want to be the one that did that. I didn't want to take the high road. And I'm, I want to always, I want us to both fight. I feel like one of us fight. One of us fucking fight. So what do you want? You don't want to take the high road. You want to fight. One of us can't do it. We need to both do it. Otherwise, one of us, one of us is just getting fucking hurt. Like, it turns out it's a fucking punching bag. I just heard every mean thing, and all I was doing was saying, stop. And I got so fucked up. I understand. Yeah. I don't Toronto, want to do Toronto to you was plain ride right to me. It was different. Toronto to you was different than yeah, what it is to me. Yeah, she never sees the big picture. It's always about picky picking.
Dude, I would need cocaine as well. <laughs> if, I to hear, if I had to hear this shit like every fucking day, I would need cocaine. Hold on. And I'm not saying take cocaine. I'm saying, oh my God. That was only a few minutes. Jeez. Stairs for so long. If I, but when, okay, so when I do, if it affects you negatively. Uh, this is an old one. Then, then it's irrelevant. This is an old one. She loves to say the word irrelevant over and over. That is an old one. This is a new one, but I cut it. I'm sorry. You've got to fucking forgive me. You get hurt and don't know what to do with it. You don't have an outlet for it. You're still holding on to it. Not admitting we're holding on to it. You still kind of hate the other one for the things they've said to you. You know, it's just. And we don't let it go. And then it comes up, a fight comes up, instigated by the same patterns, you know. Me getting mad at you about something, and me getting mad at me about something. And then all the shit comes up from all the fights. Why, why can't we just, like, like, be humble enough to say, oh shit, I'm sorry, when we fuck up? Why is it like this? I don't know how to answer that question. Mm -hmm. I'd love to be, if I'm not being that, I would love to. It takes humility, and I know I'm the only person that I feel too accountable with in your life. It takes humility, and I know I'm the only person who holds you accountable in your life. It takes humility, she's saying that. She's treating him like he's like Elvis Presley or something. Like, everybody says yes to Johnny, nobody holds him accountable. It's really like just flip, flip, flip like a freaking pancake. And remember, this is this is recorded by both of them, and she knew she was being recorded, and that's why she's being very calm. It took her a couple hours to not be calm anymore. You could just hear it and say, "I'm sorry," and also know that that's an issue you have. That he doesn't say, "I'm sorry," and so it came out really bad. It came out poorly. I handled it poorly. By the time we talked, I was already seething. And then I reacted like a person that has been hurt over many, many fights and holding on to probably some things without knowing it. And I reacted because I thought, fuck it. I don't want Toronto. I don't want to be the person that sits there and says, I love you while someone's looking at you in the eye. She can always react. Did you notice that? She always, she always finds finds that react I gotta react I had to react I want to always I want us to both look I feel like one of us one of us fucking one of us can't do it we need to both do it otherwise one of us one of us is just getting fucking hurt like Charlotte has a fucking punching bag I just heard every mean thing and all I was doing was saying stop and I got so fucked up. Uh-huh. Toronto, do. Toronto to you was a plane ride to me. No. And you're not going to give me shit. You can forgive me for it if you can. But you'll never hear that. And I'll never hear the shit I heard. So... That's important. You will never unhear what I said, and I'm never going to unhear what you said to me. So Toronto seems like they were both like throwing insults to each other. The thing with Johnny is like, Johnny doesn't want to say I'm sorry. He doesn't mean it. And she's begging for that. And that is some high school shit. Like even not high school, but like, you know, when you're a little kid, you're like in elementary school and they go like, they make you write on the board back in the day, back in the day. In the 80s or so, you have to write on the board or in your notebook, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, right? Stuff like that, where your parents or your or your grandparents or whatever guardian was um, taking care of you, even in school, in your house, they will say, just say, I'm sorry, just say, I'm sorry, I apologize to your sister, and everything gonna be, is going to be fine. No, that's a lie. Maybe when we were kids, that was taught to us was not a, such a bad thing. But when you're 27 years old, or 28, like she's on this audio, 
you need to stop with this whole thing. The whole like, say I'm sorry, it's going to be fine if you say I'm sorry. I, I hate people that overuse the word, I'm sorry. I call it the S word. My kids and I call it the S word. The S word is not shit. The S word in my house is I'm sorry, 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 sorry. It's really easy. It's really easy to say I'm sorry. Okay, that's why I don't say it much. I rather say I apologize. I see how you felt. I'm sorry you felt like that. See, I already used the word I'm sorry right there, but I'm like putting it with something else together. Not just saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's like that. That's what toddlers do. That's what toddlers do. And that's what they do that to us in school, at least in the 80s when I grew up. Get your notebook out and write a hundred times that you're sorry. All right. You can do it. It doesn't mean that you are. So a fake sorry is not a good thing. And I guess to Amber Heard, that's what she wants to hear. I skipped it. I'm so sorry. Hey, Lisa. Man, I listened to this for four hours and I cut it. I cut, I, I cut all the white noise. I cut all the stomping. She stomps like a fucking horse. Who stomps like that in their own house? Like if you come to my house and you have your heels on, you go, oh, you take off your shoes in my house. I don't know why she has shoes on, high heels or boots. Maybe it's like boots. She stamps. You ever start your computer? Okay, yeah, don't worry. I'll be here. Uh, Les is having Les is having um Stevie and Les or just Les is live at five p.m. So is so is um yeah in forty minutes from now. So I want to go watch her um because we have court tomorrow. But I wanted to play these videos by chunks because I know if I sit here for four hours, even for two hours. Yeah. Like I said, I will need cocaine too. If I have this freaking troll hammering on my head every single minute, she says the word, I'm sorry so much. And F, fight, fight, fight. She said the word, she's not fighting with him in, a, in an obvious way. She's not throwing punches. She's not throwing cops. She's not throwing Red Bull cans on him. She's not even scratching him or pushing, pushing him. To me, this is like in some weird universe that maybe you don't have to agree with me. To me, this is worse. It's condescending, weird ass mind games that you didn't know who you are anymore because she gaslighted him to the fact that this 51 year old dude, dude in his 50s, biggest movie star, he doesn't know who the fuck he is. He didn't know. Okay, he doesn't, he didn't know on this audio. So he's like, oh, I'm sorry, but I guess I can't really say I'm sorry if I don't feel it. But okay, Amber, I'm sorry. Like, he really is trying so hard to please her. It's annoying. Like, it makes me, I, I need a Red Bull just to deal with her ass. I'm going to go back because I skipped it. Um, don't say I'm sorry if you don't mean it. God damn, we're not, you're not a 60 year old person with your parents telling you, say sorry to your to your sister or to your brother. I don't have, I'm an only child, so I don't fucking know what I'm talking about. But I'm saying like, you know, when you go to school, say that, say sorry, everything is gonna be okay if you apologize. No, no, it's not gonna be okay if you apologize. Um, that's something that people hold that word like so high. Sorry, I love you, I'm sorry. It is different. Just don't say it if you don't mean it. I'm trying to go back to the last part when your computer went, your computer went down. Shoot. I was saying I would need cocaine too. That was him. Because <laughs> he's freaking annoying. There's so much white noise on this thing. Right, right. Right, I, yeah. And you're not going to hear that shit. Don't forgive me for it if you can. But you'll never unhear that. You never I'll never unhear the shit I heard. I will never unhear so, the shit I heard. Ultimately, is that, is that shit important? No. In the big picture. Big picture. We should be. We should find a way. 
And we do go to New York. Not too much, and I don't. Both need to work on it. We. We. That's good, Johnny. We. These are the tapes that are going to be shown to the counselor. So this is why both of them are being mostly her. She's been really calm, not calling him names. We know when she doesn't know she's been recorded or when she's too drunk to remember she was she was recording it. She loses her mind. Like I play on the Did you watch did you watch or listen to the the what I played two days ago? Of her making fun of him, not only calling him fat for saying that he's a joke in the industry and all the movies that he made are garbage and he's not the god of cinema making fun of him over and over, telling him that he never made a good movie in his life. Well, that's on my last my last video. And I know it's more exciting than this, but this is how the whole thing went down. She didn't just win there all of a sudden. She started with this condescending, fake um, apologies bullshit that you can get from a five-year-old. You know, when they know they're about to get in trouble and they go like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and they don't mean it. And when you're a mom or a teacher or any type of person who's in that position, you know they don't mean it. You know they don't mean it. They just do it so they can go back to playing the PlayStation, whatever it is. And this is what she's doing, but she's 70, 27 years old. You can't use the word I'm sorry like a weapon. You just can't. And he said that in court, that, that she weaponizes words. And she weaponized the words, I love you, I'm sorry. You never are there for me. You always, you never fight for me. You always split. We heard, those are not new videos. That's no, that's nothing brand new for us, right? Um, but this is really, I mean, it's like, I'm trying to make it really loud with a microphone on them, not on me. And I hope that is listenable or watchable. I don't know if you're watching or not, or if it's working, send me like a thumbs, thumbs up or a smiley face or something so I know. But yeah, listen to her as I listen to a toddler saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can I go to play with it? Can I get the lollipop now? Because I already said I'm sorry. So can I get it back? Can I get my toy back? It doesn't work like that. And I don't know how she, maybe she grew up like that. Maybe she grew up, her dad, you know, telling her what he feels sorry. I, I don't know what the fuck, Amber, but... It's not everything in a relationship to say I'm sorry um, and say, well, say it too. You need to say it too to make me feel better so I can go to bed. I can take my ambient and go to bed. So say I'm sorry. Say say it. Say it, Johnny. It's like it's, it's, it's exhausting. Anybody in his position will start, you know, drinking a little bit of whiskey once in a while. Which I don't know if she, he actually was sober or not, which is irrelevant. Let's stop talking about drugs, please. Ultimately, is that, is that shit important? Oh, yeah, you don't see the big picture. No. All right. In the big picture. We should be. This is the I'm gonna, this is the next one. It's 12 minutes. I cut it in, in pieces, like I said, so we don't have to stay here for two hours. But I'm going to record more. I mean, record is already recorded by them, but I'm going to post more tonight. And I'm just going to just keep doing a little bit every day. So we get, we, before court, we get like, you know, I usually don't do this. I usually don't sit here and make fun of her or make fun of Evan Richard Wood on the, on the Manson case. But I was so fucking pissed off and so sad after they played this self-harm Kami Kami audio that now I feel like a lot of people on YouTube, we just lost it on her. I'm always being logical. I'm always being sympathetic, especially towards Evan. I'm trying to think, you know, maybe it was her parents. Maybe it wasn't in her fault. Maybe it's Il Magor. Maybe with Amber, I can't really be sympathetic on her anymore. Uh, when I knew that she was talking shit to his kids about him, that's it. You know, there's a line. There's a line. She crossed it too many times. So when somebody fakes nail polish, uh, blood for nail polish, nail polish for blood. Um, what else can that person can do? What else can they do if they did that? Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm going to do that in a moment because I always wear red nail, red nail polish. I have so many. And I was going to do it today just to show you how bloody it looks. 
and how realistic it looks. And he, he's an actor, so he smelled it. He was like, oh, this is nail polish. This is not blood. Anybody can smell blood or nail polish. It's different. But to the look of it, if I say, you broke my nose and I'm holding that, unless you smell it, you will believe it because it looks just like it. Okay, this is another one. Please don't argue with me. I promise you that I'm not lying when I say this. I even said this to you. I said I... She's a little bit more. She's a little more mad on this one, but she's going with I promise you, I promise you over and over. And let's see, because I forgot. I forgot about this thing. This new, but I, I had so many of these things. It's four hours long. So I have to cut it in like 10, 20, 30 minutes. I feel like the last thing you have time for is me. I just want a little time. 10 minutes, whatever. Guilt and tripping. Didn't have time. I was, and then when I talk, when I finally talked to you, which I carried it around all week, when I finally talked to you, I said this to you. Remember when we talked that night, Whitney's birthday. That night that we had that talk, and you apologized. He's trying to put this on tape, but he apologized. Yeah. Yeah, Mary. That there be safety, that there is a foundation. It's all fucking pointless. I'd rather take off my ring now and fucking live my life and just say how it goes and see how it goes than to continue in this fucking forced thing where we every single time go, I don't want this anymore. It's like, it's like every time it gets hard. We didn't write vowels. We didn't, you know, get around to doing the important shit, which is like, you know, fucking fighting for the wedding I fucking made happen. No, we didn't do that. Mm. We didn't say to each other, I up and down, low and high, tough and easy, both. We didn't say that to each other, but we need to. No, you don't need to. There's no. That's what I'm saying. You don't need to. She has like this little weird, unrealistic, you know, movie fed. I don't know if this is something that happened in her childhood or what, of what a marriage is supposed to be. Um, and uh, she throws a word out there. Uh, we didn't do this. Uh, we didn't fight for the wedding that I wanted to have. And da, da 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 And we and you and we and you. She's trying to be careful not to say you a lot of times because this is a tape that is going to present it to the therapist. So one thing, Ember is not stupid. She's stupid now, but she wasn't stupid when she was doing this. Um, so that's why she's trying to sound calm, but she's going to lose her in a moment. It's not that hard to wait for her, for her to lose it. Like, it's just... It, like the way that she thinks, I don't know, maybe um, I'm trying to figure out why she thinks. I know she's a narcissist, but like, where, from where this is, whole thing is coming, this like fairy tale, weird ass uh, fake marriage that she wanted it to work so hard. Uh, even when it wasn't from the fucking beginning, because you're not going to take ecstasy in your wedding Okay, unless you have a problem, why you need to why you need to numb yourself? Hey, I'm not against ecstasy, okay? I'm just saying at all. Why are you gonna numb yourself for your wedding? See, like there was just something wrong from the fucking beginning, and this wasn't about the splitting or about his drinking or, like, or even about his friends. Like she makes it sound like she's making it sound on this on this audio like he was ignoring her. And uh, she has been ignored for so long because he had to work. He has to work so you can have the life that you want to have, Ember. So then being so materialistic, not owning to it, be materialistic, but then going like, well, don't go to work. Be with me. Ooh, I need to be with me. It's fucked up. It's, it's really fucked up. This is what a borderline personality disorder person does or a narcissist does. I, I'm, I'm tired of people throwing diagnosis at her. I just gonna call her uh, psychopathy. <laughs> That's it, psychopathy. Because that we can put everything in one word. Psychopath. Because seriously, seriously, there is nothing, almost nothing normal about her. If we think about it in the terms that we think on YouTube, on Instagram, we think is normal. There's almost nothing normal about her. The way that she interacts with her sister. 
with her friends. She treats them like little minions and little slaves and little minions. Her friends are not innocent, but I'm saying there's a lot of it. I think a lot of it was her lying to her own friends and to her sister to get to the point that they hate Johnny. So I don't know if she has ever been really honest with the, with the, with her friends. Anyway, she, nothing in her life is normal. Nothing. Maybe, maybe in a, maybe the career, maybe her career, maybe her movies, like maybe that's the only time that she behaves semi quasi normal in life because she doesn't want to lose, you know, the status that she has in Hollywood. I don't know. I don't know what she, why she thinks it, this is normal, but, but it's not. <laughs> it's not. And asking normality from Johnny when she's the one that is, and this is not even, a, this audio doesn't have punches in it. This is just exhausting. That's what I put in the title. Exhausting. Like you want to go to sleep, take some melatonin and play this. <laughs> well, no, though. You're going to have nightmares, but uh, I listened to it last night. It was four hours. And this is what I got from it because there was a lot of white noise, a lot of her crying. Um, he's not losing it at all. Um, okay, this is the this is her being a victim, saying that he doesn't have time for her. He's always recording. He's always working. He's always with his band. Like it's you know, like if you want a guy to stay sober, you know, like in twelve step programs so or even just any type of sobriety, any type of you know, if you want to stay sober, you know what one thing you need to stay sober is you need things to do, you need hobbies, you need things to do. And if the things that you do to stay sober and to stay calm and to stay sane, your wife is gonna hate on, it's gonna be really hard for you to stay sober when everything you do pisses her off. He goes to rehearsal with the with the band, she gets pissed. He um, goes to the Grammys and doesn't go with her, she gets pissed. What you want, you want what you want is a puppet. You want him to drink. You want him to be on Xanax. You want him to drink whiskey or whatever he was drinking or wine, because you want a puppet. It's really easy to manipulate. Well, it's not like they're talking about Xanax like it's fucking heroin. Okay, you can take Xanax and you don't get uh you don't you don't become somebody's puppet. But if you're already on the situation that Johnny was in, he was already kind of getting brainwashed by her, and the Xanax and the wine wasn't helping because she was making him passive. It wasn't like, I care so much about your anxiety, take a Xanax. No, that's not what it came from, like one fucking bit. Nobody can convince me now. I used to think that maybe she gave a fuck about him, but no, nobody, after the court, in the last couple, last week and a half of court, nobody's gonna convince me that she wasn't weaponizing his own medication that he has with his name on it. And I would love for everybody on YouTube, Instagram, whatever, the big media, to stop talking about the drugs and the self-harm and the fact that in a couple of text messages, he used the C word or the F word. Let's just stop. I mean, we're not on the 1940s anymore. I don't know why everybody's acting so prudish. Oh my God, and clenching their pearls. Oh my God, he took alcohol, he took drugs. Like Elaine said, Elaine, her lawyer, when she said, well, he was fine until he started taking the drugs, the drugs. Fuck. Half of this country is medicated. Okay. Like, I don't know why people are making such a big ass deal. The only thing that I think it was a big deal, it was the Roxy's, the painkillers, because he got hooked, which is not the same than him in the gas station at the corner buying baggies of Roxy's. He got hooked. And it's not, it's not something to make fun of at all and he's sober now because he's not with her because if they were together you know that that he will be like that. i don't know i don't want to say but he will feel he will be tempted it's really hard to with somebody like this and be sober and then she's hating on the things that make you stay sober like your band your activities your friends She's hating all that because it's not attention to her because all he needs to do is be there with her for her. That's supposed to be his job. When you don't do the job for the narcissist, the narcissist is going to throw a fucking tantrum. And I'm not, I'm not reinventing the wheel. Really, this is what people do. A lot of people do this, not only mentally ill. A lot of people do this. I mean, we've done it once in a while, but the way that... It's, it's a chronic thing on her, seriously.
there's no point of being married. We, there's no, I don't get anything from this. You don't get anything from this. And what? Why? Safety for the fa- a foundation for the home. We burn it to the ground every time we fight. And I know you didn't do it this time. Mm-hmm. You didn't. Just don't. Do not agree. Do you not agree? Don't you agree? By this time, he smoked 20 cigarettes already. Yeah, I mean, it's not nice to hear you say, I'll just take my ring off right now and take my chances out there. Mm-hmm. You know, rather than go through this shit. He said, she no, said to I mean, him that she I was going to take the ring off. off. And I didn't mean it like that. I see why it came across that way. I'm sorry. I did not mean I'm that. sorry. I'm sorry. I did not mean it the way it came out of my mouth like that. I didn't mean that. I meant... Okay. Well, I meant what's the, f- I'd rather do, I'd rather uh, both of us cut our losses, you know, cut ties, instead of it being the thing that we always fucking go to whenever. You don't time. rather cut ties, Amber. That's what I meant. I agree. He's agreeing with her, like, all the freaking time. Poor guy. He's really well, fucking. When I bring that up, that's, yeah, that's the fucking child fucking shithead ego. You know, that doesn't want to. Mm-hmm. Whatever. It's fucking it's a dick. No, you're not a dick, Johnny. Look what she's making him say. Don't want a divorce. I don't want a divorce. But I do understand that if. The moment that he says what he really feels, then she's like, well, maybe you're the one that has a problem. It's so fucking good. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. But the the games that she's playing, first she says, I'm sorry, so he can say, I'm sorry. And then when she couldn't make him say, I'm sorry, then she said, I'm going to take off my wedding ring. Uh, that skip, but that part is there. And then he was like, well, that's not nice to hear. And then she said, well, I hope you don't fight for me. Now he's saying uh, he was a dick. He probably wasn't a dick on the argument that she's talking about. So, but he's just like, with these people, like, all you can, you have to do is admit. Can you imagine being with this person 24-7? Or like, not 24-7, but like even 12 hours of the day. Uh, and trying to stay sober. And trying to stay sober from everything, not even having a drink, um, and her going at you over and over like this, anybody will abuse something. Um, again, I think this is this tape is done. She's acting in this tape because this is was, this was to play for the counselor, the marriage counselor. And if they play this on, in court tomorrow or any any time this week, she's gonna sound like the good guy. If they play this one, if they play the tape, the audio that I play on my last video, that she makes fun of him and laughs and say, I, who the fuck wants to do those TV shows that you did? Well, you're not the, you didn't do good movies. You're nobody. You're fat. Da, 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 da. If they play that one, um, she's fucked. But I have a feeling they're going to play this audio and make him look and sound like a coward. When all he's saying is, I am not going to say I'm sorry for something I didn't do. Oh, well, then I take my wedding ring off. It, that, is, that is a typical narcissistic move. And then is when the threats start happening. And when they make a threat. A threat, a threat, a threat. And then you start getting fucking scared. Because what about if she actually does it? What about if she actually takes the, the, the wedding ring off? It's a provocation. Who the fuck wants to hear that? Woman or man? Maybe I take my wedding ring off and took my t- take my chances. That's actually what she said. So now this is the response to that. I want us to work. 
Yeah, but you want it to be easy. You, like, want it to just work. And if it doesn't work out like this, then I guess not. That That's not the point of getting married. What's the point, Amber? Divorce is not the point of getting married. No. Throw your ring off for saying I want to split. Exactly. It's not the point of getting married. Throw exactly. your fucking husband out. Of, 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 that happened, baby. That happens. I threw you out of the room. I didn't throw you out of the house. And you're already on your way anyway. You know that's what fucking step one for you is taking off. So what the fuck am I supposed to do? You can't blame me for that. Down to the couch, man. That wasn't true. You always split. I didn't throw you out of the room. Out of the house. Always I could throw you out of the room. I had to get out of the room. Before it was violent. Mm. You split every time. Wait. Every time, Johnny, whether it's violent or Mary. Mm -hmm. Divorce is not the point. I just heard it the first time. No. Throw your ring off. She said that was before I was violent. Exactly. Hold on, let me see. Throw your exactly. fucking husband out. Okay. That happened, baby. That happens. I threw baby. you out of the room. I didn't throw you out of the house, and you were already on your way anyway. You know that's a fucking step one for you is taking off. So what the fuck am I supposed to do? You can't blame me for that. Down the couch, man. That wasn't true. You always split. You always split. I have to get out of the room. It was violent. It was before it was violent. You split oh, well, every time. You split every time. Did you hear it? It's violent or not. It was before I was violent. She said that. I stated before you of your truths. And this was just after you worked out with a therapist. Okay, because there's no way we're going for nitpicking each other. Mm -mm. There's no way. Poor Johnny. God. I'm trying. She's like the tough, she's the courage. Remember she said to him, you're not, you're doing the honorable thing, you're walking away, but I'm trying. I'm the strong one because I'm trying. It's such a fucking mind fuck. That's because I'm here. Present and Setting. It's upsetting. This is a normal, natural reaction to have. I, I, I don't. This is upsetting, and I'm not taking a pill to mitigate that. I would love to, but hmm. this is actually like an organic response. And I'm sorry, it's not yours, but at least I'm trying to like. I am trying. See what she's doing every single no, time. I wrote down something on the list of never, but I need a pro. I need promises. I need promises. It, we said this before that it won't happen again, and this won't happen again, and that won't happen again. And I can't. I can't do it. She's you not, can't do it. She's not going to be specific. She's going to say this and that. Yes, that's why I'm being. I'm being completely impartial when I'm making this list. I'm not assigning blame. I'm not writing down the things you do. No, you just said I can't do it. Yes, neither can you. I can't do the thing that we always do, which is that we make these, you know, we That's say these I things. Just said we say these things and then we don't do them. I want a promise. I want security. I want the boundaries back up. I want you to commit. I want, I'm being very clear about what I want. I need yeah. promises from you. I need promises that this won't come up. I'll promise it back to you. I need, I need promises from you. I agree. Let's and do I, it. I, I, I'm here. Let's do it. He said, let's do it. So I'm going to make a list. I promise I will not do this. I promise you will not do this. You make a list. Yes. I mean, can you actually say, I promise I will not do this? And say, I promise I, I will if it's fucking normal, do my best. I can't. That's different than I will not it's take a, off my ring. Right. No, no. Unless I mean it. That's different. You know, like, I would love to say to you, I promise I'll always be understanding or let you be you or not get, you know, be, be more, I don't know, I could always promise that, but that's different from something very clear like divorce. Ugh. You know what I mean? Of course it is. Yeah. We all will need cocaine to deal with it. stability back. And I know we'll build it over time, but 
Do you want that? Of course I do. Let me give it to you, except... Trust me. Makes me so mad. I think I've run from situations. You always run. take off. I can't Please. trust you when you do Baby. Me. I have no trust. That's Baby. why I freak out so fast these Baby. days. Is that I assume you're splitting. Baby. I can't. I have physical Baby. fights. I can't just stand there and take my punches. Nope. At a certain point, you're going to fucking react. That's all I'm asking. Oh, be fair. But, no, but what I'm saying is, we're talking about splitting. I'm not asking you to stand there while you punch. Oh, go ahead. No, we're talking about me get, getting out of the room. See what I'm saying? See what she's doing? Well, that's not what I was thinking. That's not what I was asking. That's not what I was talking about. The moment he starts talking, he keeps quiet. You know, he's thinking about it. She's like, he does in court. He's thinking what he's going to say. The moment he starts talking, she said, well, that's not what I was talking about. Right? Did you notice she does that the moment he starts talking about what he needs? Well, that's irrelevant. That's not what I was talking about. That's not what I was going for. I mean, what's the point? Might as well just have a freaking blow up doll or a puppet to talk to, Amber, because you don't want to talk to a person. Because when you talk to people, people are going to reply to you. <laughs> and that's normal. But narcissistic people don't like that. And the moment that you say something that, that you need, for example, whatever, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a stupid example. I promise I'm not going to eat all your food. Well, that's not what I was That's not what I was talking about. You know, the other person will go like, you're like, well, yeah, you were just talking about being hungry because I eat all your food. And then I promise I'm not going to do it. And then you, and then these people like this say, well, that's not what I was saying. That's not what I was talking about. It's just to confuse the fuck out of you. By now, everybody knows that. But um, I feel bad that in this moment, he didn't. Or he did. Or he did, and he was just trying to have some peace and have, like, one good weekend with her. But that is a very typical mechanism. When you start finally getting your words out, then they go like, well, that's not what I was saying. So you can't. There's no way. There's no win. There's no way you can win. Like, for real, we go like this, you don't win. You end up in court or you end up dead. You just can't, can't win. It's crazy. It's like, really, she's so calm on this tape, but she's not. It's like boiling on the inside. It's like fucking a TikTok, TikTok, a freaking tickling bomb any fucking minute. And God forbid that he says something that he needs. And then she interrupts and says, well, that's not what I was talking about. Yeah. We're leaving. It, it did not, I didn't. Up in Australia, I didn't leave the fucking house. I went to other rooms. You know, I went, I went, whatever. I didn't, I didn't fucking take off in uh, San Francisco or whatever. I, I, look, go another room. That's different you from know? saying I'm getting another hotel room, which is what you did in, in Toronto. And then in France, you said I'm getting your flight. You involved. <laughs> of you know people other people it's humiliating it's embarrassing it's demeaning to me and yes it's, you good no but you were the one to suggest a flight amber you wanted a flight possibly yeah yeah too right no, she texts Stephen that and the same with the room your splitting is chronic it's early it's quick it's so not it, you're not interested in not fighting you are guaranteeing a fight when whoa you do that, I, that is only an abuser an so abuser many. crazy person will say that you guarantee a fight you know that when you do this i'm gonna do this and that is so fucked up if they play this in court in on favor of hers this is gonna sound really bad even if she's not punching and throwing punches and screaming it's going to sound bad because she really is picking, 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 even if she's not uh, vocalizing it, verbalizing it. The way I see it, the way I hear it, and I hope they have a fucking expert over there because any of us on YouTube can do this, then imagine a, a real psychoanalysis on the stand witnessing and listening to this crap and be like, wait, she just said, if you do this, you guarantee a fight. Like, you're going to live... This is ter it's terrorism. It's emotional terrorism. It's pissing me off. 
If you do this, you guarantee a fight. So then the guy goes like, well, no wonder I'm going to fucking start drinking again. Because when I don't drink, then I, 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 if I go to the other room, I guarantee a fight anyway. So might as well fucking, might as well fight or drink or whatever. It's so, it's so violent what she's doing. And she doesn't even, she knows she's doing it. She knows. She knew she was doing it. But every time that you do this, you guarantee a fight. You know that if you do that, I will get mad. How can you live like that? How can you live with somebody telling you that? This guy was a saint. It's a saint. This is a freaking angel. And this is how she repays him, by playing the self-harm audio in court. This is what she does. After doing all this circus, doing all this audio, to take it to the marriage counselor and pretend that she wanted um, to be okay. She wanted, that she didn't want... She didn't want it to be okay. She wanted to take off with the money so she can be with Elon or Franco or whoever. Um, but she's trying so hard to make it look like she's the normal one. And the way I hear it, it's not the same way that she's probably is, is hearing it. Um, you guarantee a fight if you do this to me. That to me is just is violence. It's the definition of violence. So many times. You guarantee if you were interested in not fighting, you would be respectful if you needed the space to make you would be careful not to perpetuate the fight longer by saying, I need I need a few minutes. Be careful. And then you actually to, honoring that. You have How to be can careful. I trust you that it will be a few minutes when you've done this in the past and disappeared for hours? You know, I got mad at you in Australia about this. I said, baby, I want to trust you. It's hard for me not to try and work it out. If you want to be the person that's like, I need to cool down, help me do that. Give that to you. But I can't give it to you if you always let me down and because fuck I, up and forget. Because and I gave you a time limit because I said I'll be back in three minutes. So I'm just... No, it's if different. That happened, if it happens... It's different. You never... If it happens, I'm just going to say, look, I need some time. That's it. But, John, you can't do that because then you're going to yeah. guarantee a fight when you come back. Make it worse. That'll make it worse. I guarantee you it will. See? If you're, if you're stuck in throwing punches. I'm so. not talking about throwing punches. I'm talking about an argument. Of course not. Right. In arguments, you tend to throw punches. Talking about arguments. I'm not talking about the times when it's got physical. I'm talking about arguments. I'm talking about arguments. I'm no punches. Not arguments. No punches. I'm yes, in our arguments. Earlier and earlier and earlier. Now you split. You take off right away. You don't deal with the issue. You don't deal with it. We heard this a hundred times. Whether it is, and then you do it for an undetermined amount of time. You do it without actually respecting when you do give me a time. Like, say, I need a few minutes. You, you never actually honor anything close to that. So I can't trust you. And when, especially when you always take off. A few minutes is also an expression. So. Yes, exactly. And I'm not holding you to it. A I'm few saying minutes hours is and hours an expression. Later, different. and makes me far more stressed and far more angry and perpetuates the amount of time that right. I cool down and go, you know what, maybe I'm acting this way or maybe I'm being mean to him or maybe I'm doing this wrong. Maybe I should come to his side or compromise more. It takes me so much longer. Ex of course it does. I need to plug my phone. I'm so sorry, people. I'm so sorry. I live for production. <laughs> of course it does. This is a typical fucking violent person, narcissistic or not, approach to relationships and to life. Well, you know, you guarantee a fight if you do that. Okay, what well, I gotta do that for a few minutes. For a few minutes, he said a few minutes. Yeah, minutes is an expression. When people say a few minutes, it's like you speak English, whatever, in any language. People say, hey, I'm going to take off for a few minutes. It doesn't mean it can be 10 minutes or 25 minutes or 35 minutes, a few minutes. I mean, and she's holding him hostage on that. That's the word for it, hostage. And and um, the way she goes with the, the way she goes about, 
Well, if you come back like this, you guarantee a fight. That really, that really got, got Please got don't argue with me. I head. promise you that I'm not lying when I say this. I even said this to you. I said, I feel like the last thing you have time for is me. I just want a little time, 10 minutes, whatever. And it was, it didn't have time. I was, and then when I, tra- when I finally talked to you, which I carried it around all week, when I finally talked to you, I said this to you. Remember when we talked that night, Whitney's birthday? She carried around all week. She carried around all week. Uh, I didn't, I didn't want to go, that night that we had that talk. How can we you remember all these fucking talks, Johnny? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, yeah I already okay. listened to this. Okay. So I already played it. We already played it. Yeah, and I go to the part that she says. And when, especially when you always take off. You guarantee a fight. There you go. Yes, exactly. And I'm not holding you to it. I'm saying hours and hours later is different. He's so calm. Oh, my God. Actually, it's the t- amount of time that I can cool down and go, you know what, maybe I'm acting this way, or maybe I'm... It makes you more angry. Maybe I should come to his side or compromise more. It takes me so much longer. Ex- so, so I have to do exactly what you want. Otherwise, it's going to perpetrate the fight. See what I'm saying? <laughs> like, she has a way... Sorry, my nose. I'm just have allergies. She has a way to do this. That it's like it's almost anyway. Oh, I've been out here for more than an hour, and um, I want to play the next one after I come back. Um, because I'm gonna go to watch Stevie Ray and Les, because they are live, and I love them. So they're there. So if you want to go, go. Let's go. Um, that was. About 20, about 40 minutes of the new four hour audio. So I'm going to play some more tomorrow. No, not tomorrow morning, later tonight when I come back from work because I work until 1 a.m. my time. And when I come back, I'm not going to really go to sleep. I just sit here and play you more of it. And then you see how this thing grows. And she goes from that to worse. But everybody heard the tapes, he heard about how. Since he was a kid, he goes to another room. He goes to another room to chill, to calm down, right? How can you be with somebody who has a problem with you doing the thing that you did when you were a kid? How can you be with somebody who doesn't have the empathy to understand that you're doing the thing that you did when you, when your mom beat the shit out of you? That's the thing. And it's not like she didn't know that. When they first start going to, when they first, when you start dating somebody um, and then move with somebody, you tell them everything. You tell them your story, and which, is a, which is a mistake. You tell them everything. So, of course, he told, he told her that his mom and dad allegedly were violent. I do believe, believe him. And uh, if you know that, you know that that's the thing that the guy can do, that you're going to use it, you're going to weaponize him with it. And, and, uh, and this was very interesting in the audio when she said, well, I didn't throw you out of the house. I just threw you out of the room. Babe. And then she goes with this babe. I didn't throw you out of the house. It's so, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Amber. <laughs> thank you because they didn't throw me out of my own house. Like, like it's a good thing that she threw him out of the room. Like she shouldn't throw him out of anywhere, you know? Anyway, I'm going to go and I'm going to watch. I'm going to go watch less because she's live. So... Um, I don't want to do like a too much, too much of a long video because then nobody watches it. See guilt trip. It's not good guilt trip people. When she goes, she goes to this whole, well, if you come back a little bit late, you guarantee a fight with me. Of course, I'm going to get mad. Of course, I'm going to be angry. You guarantee a fight. That really disturbed me when she used those words. You guarantee a fight. 
I heard that before many times. If you do this, you're gonna you guarantee a fight when you come back. So when why the fuck you gonna come back to this madness? Why? Because you have kids together or because you have a house together, whatever the reason is that people stay with people like her. You gonna you you're gonna have to fight no matter what. She's pretty much saying, when you come back, we're gonna fight. So why he will come back from the retreats, going to the room, the bathroom, everything else that he said in court that he was doing? Why he will come back? If it's going to be a fight, no matter what. If she's going to accuse you of drinking, no matter what, might as well drink. It's, just, it's the same. Might as well be that bad person that she's telling you that you are. That's something that I dealt with before. It's like, well, you're accusing me of cheating. Might as well fucking just flirt with that. I didn't cheat. But might, as well, might as well do whatever the fuck I want because you think I'm doing it anyway. I feel like Johnny was on that situation a lot. And um, I do think that she pushed him to the, the, the point that he broke his uh, cold stone sober that he was doing for like, for a whole year, he wasn't drinking any alcohol. And then now, and then he says in, in court, then I choose to believe him that um, he started drinking after she cut his finger. <sighs> That's the person that, that she is. So let's just stop with the, how many drugs he take drugs? Well, let's just focus on the big picture of a person that does what she's doing from the beginning. Because this these audios are not new. This is what she's been doing since 2013. Uh, that's crazy too, because like they, it seems like they didn't even have like a honeymoon phase. It was like straight up madness. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm going to go um, because I really have to go. Oh, my phone is dying. Oh, my God. There's 10 people watching now. Hey, you want to say hi to me? Because I don't know. I can't really see them. Um, the chat. I look weird. I was going to get I was going to cut here last night, but we had an extreme warning. Um, extreme warning. Uh, tornado earthquake. No, I'm not. I'm not fucking around. I, I have to go in the closet. I have an empty closet. I put my cat and me in the closet. It's a big closet, but that's what you got to deal with. It's fine. I'm fine now. <laughs> Everything is fine. But it was it was kind of scary. The sirens were going out. <sighs> um, but I'm going to come back um, 1 a.m. my time later tonight. I mean, early morning. And I'm going to play more of this because there is like 30, there is like three more hours of this bullshit. Um, if you want to watch my last video... That one is the one when she goes nuts and says, nobody respects you on the industry. You're a joke. Your movies are a joke and blah, blah. That's my last video. Um, and this one, I wanted to play the calm Amber, which it makes me more angry <laughs> than the other one. Because I can handle a jerk. I can handle an asshole. Like she was being an asshole to him before. But this thing, this condescension, this like, this, this really like, like, well, if you do this, I'm going to act like this. I'm going to not do it, but please do it. But I'm still going to act like this anyway. Say sorry even if you don't mean it, Johnny, because if you don't say sorry, I'm going to freak out. It's really my, it's just a lot of my games. All right, bye, and thank you. Lisa, if you're still there, I'm sorry. I'm going to go um, watch less live because she is before my phone dies completely. Thank you. I'll be back tonight. Can listen to it listen back this is a new audio don't tell me it is because it is it is <laughs> um we heard some of it of him splitting and the rooms and going to the bathroom but this whole percent pro progression um of, of her she thinks this is normal she thinks she sounds normal to me she sounds insane but this is the audio that she was going to present to her therapist marriage counselor and this was going to make her look normal, I guess. Any therapist with two brains would be like, wait, you just said you guarantee a fight when you don't do what I want. Did you said that? Any therapist will think that's, that's nuts. I mean, any good one, I guess. Anyway, bye. My phone's dying. Thank you. How do I close this thing? <laughs> bye.